Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I want to show you how you can use ConfUI for free on the internet. You don't have to install anything or upload anything. It works right out of the box. You can do LLMs, images, videos. You can even deploy the workflows to a Discord. So that's pretty amazing. It's not a sponsored video. I just want to show you that because it's free. So I think you should use that opportunity. So this is on get salt AI and you just have to make a free account for that. And then here it says start building. So click on that button and here you can either create a new workflow, which then is empty. Well, it has some notes in there. You can delete the notes. And the cool thing is if you start a new workflow, you can just drag a JSON into that so that you can load your own workflows. This supports a lot of different nodes. Some are not supported, but you can go to their Discord, ask if they can add these nodes so you can actually use them. Now, you also have examples here. Now, to be honest, they don't have too many examples in here, but they give you a good starting point because as you can see here, you can simulate a search. You can use an LLM agent in here. You can upscale, you can chat with a PDF. So pretty cool examples. I'm sure you didn't even know you can do these things inside of ComfUI. And then down here we have even more like you have text to image, you have a content aware LLM chat, comic strip creator and an XY grid. So that's already a lot. You can also, like I said, do video if you want to. They don't have an example workflow here, but you can find a lot of example workflows online or you just build your own workflow. Now, up here, you can also see you have different links. Docs is giving you documentation about the different parts of how to use that. The blog, of course, shows you the new updates and the discord. That is the most important part. If you have any kind of questions, please join the discord. Ask them, give them feedback, talk with the developers. They're very open. They're very responsive. So this is really the fastest way to get help. So let's go back to my overview here. Here I have a simple text to image workflow. I will click on that. You can see it's loading first. It's white and then it's loading in all of the nodes. And like I said, this is completely free. Don't have to pay anything. There's no credits, no nothing at the moment. The cool thing here is you have when you scroll in here, the input and you can see here it says input image, input mask input name, input desk, input type. Desk is description, by the way. This is a specific note from Salt AI. They have created that. This is the input you need when you deploy that on your Discord. Here, you can choose different formats. You can choose a string, which is a text. You have a float, which is a dot number like 1.5. You have an integer, which is a full number like one, two, three. Then you have Boolean or Boolean. You have an image input, mask input, seed input and file input. So you can do a lot of different things with this. And of course, up here, you can give this a name. Very important. Describe what that is, what it's for. And then you also have your description. You can add this kind of optional, but writes a little bit in here. You can see in this case, it's a prompt for a string. So we have the text down here and then you just connect it wherever you want. And then they have a second note here that is the output node. Now here again, you want to, for example, choose the format like PNG, JPEG, GIF, WebP, AVI, MP4, WebM, and so on. Even MP3 for music, WAV for music, string as a text output. You see there's a lot of different um, abilities what you can do here. If you choose a video format, you can set here the frames per second you want to have. So this has a lot of potential. And for these input output nodes, you see down here at the very low part down here, you see I use right now two inputs and one output. So the one output is going to be my image output. Then I have one input here for the prompt. And then I created another input in here. This, as you can see, is the seed. I set it to seed. I put some random number in here just to have anything in here for the description. I put write a seed and then I connect this 
to, of course, the input over here for our K sampler advanced. So you can see here noise seed. You can change all of these different fields here to an input, as you know, by right clicking and you see here convert any of these choices into an input and then you can connect an input cable to that. OK, so as you can see, it's super easy. Now, uh, I want to show you how you find this because that's not quite obvious here because it says positive prompt in this case. This is called the salt input. So double click for the search and then write salt in and you see here salt input. So this gives you the note. They just have recolored it to green here. But this is actually, as you can see, the same note with the same fields in here. You can delete that. And then, of course, you also have the salt output that is the same as we have seen before with the PNG and so on. And here are other things you can do. For example, up here with file, you can export this as a JSON file, which means you can download this to your desktop. So you can run it locally if you want to do that. And as I said, you can run this online. So for example, here, when I click on run, you can see workflow added to queue, and then it's already starting to render. You can see up here what it is doing. On the right side, you have your menu. This is this little um, arrow to the right. This gives you an overview of what is happening. This will also show you if there's any kind of errors happening in here where you have to fix something inside of your workflow. So all of that is pretty easy. Um, the rendering is finished. There we go. Finished. Beautiful. We have here our image of a woman walking inside of a park. Looks very nice. You can, of course, also choose a different style. For example, let's write here anime style and then let's this render again. Now, this is very useful when you, for example, do video. You don't have to run it on your hardware. So you can let this run in your browser. Let it finish while you do others, other stuff. So this really saves on your resources. The only thing you need, of course, is an internet connection for that. And as you can see, they have a pretty fast GPU for rendering this. So you don't even have to wait too long. Um, because if we look here, this is using an XL model, actually. And for the size, we have here 1344 by 768. So actually a pretty high resolution and still the result is rendering nice and fast and we get a beautiful result as you can see here now i told you we can deploy that on the discord server and the way you do that is you click up here on the deploy button you give this a name make sure this is going to be a descriptive name maybe add some numbers at the end so it's more of a unique name and then simply click here on deploy they don't have the API version yet. This is coming soon, but this is pretty good for just using it on Discord. So after you've clicked on deploy, it will show you the name and how to call for that. Now, if you want to update this workflow because you tried it out in your Discord, you found there's some mistakes, it didn't work, you cannot redeploy that as long as it is still deployed. And how do you change that? Well, here on the top left, you have this arrow that's going to the left. Click on that. And then here you have your workflows. And below that, you have your deployments. So that is pretty cool. Here I have my test one, two, three. Very creative name. You can turn this off with this. You see, you can pause it or you can reactivate it so it's running again. Or when you want to redeploy that because you made changes, you made an update to your workflow, you want to go here and you want to delete that. You can also download it before once we have a backup. Deleting this here is not going to delete your workflow from the workflow page over here. So don't worry about that. It's only deleting the deployment. And again, here you can see the name of your deployment and how to call for that, which is slash workflows and then the name. So I'm going to go and copy this. And then I'm going to go over here to the official salt discord because you can use it in here, but you can also use it on your own discord if you want to. So here they have different rooms. They are called play. And I simply 
enter this down here you can see slash workflows name test one two three i hit enter this turns into an input field with my text already in there so i hit enter again and then this is going to call for my workflow you can see i have here two inputs the prompt and the seed and the output is going to be a png so when i click on run workflow this will give me a pop-up window you can see here I have my seed, you can change that to a different number, and I have my prompt on top of that. You can write your text in here any way you want, and then click on Submit. After you've clicked on Submit, this is taking a little bit to render, as you've seen, it's pretty fast still. And the cool thing here is this is going to end up as a private message in your Salt AI bot, so that you have all of the things you have created together in this private chat. How awesome is that? Now, of course, I hear you say, well, I want to have this on my own Discord. How do I do that? Well, the easiest way I would suggest to do that is to join the Salt Discord, go in one to the, of the playrooms, look for something like this here, and then you can see here at Salt AI Bot. So you can click on that, and then with that, you can add this to your server, the bot. And then when you have added the bot to your server, you can call you for your specific workflow. By the way, a huge benefit here is, and this is why I would add some numbers to the title of your workflow, is only people who know the name of your workflow can call for the workflow. There is no public library where you can see all of the workflow. So it's kind of safe to build your thing, not super safe because this is beta and open source and whatnot. So uh, don't upload your private company secrets, of course, um, to that server. But to have your own specific name allows you to have your own workflow. And then you can open this up to your Discord community so they can play around with these cool things. Leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoy videos like that. And see you soon. Bye, my friends.